Yo, Adam Saxon with Gyna Cube, and in this video, we are gonna look at a really cool trick you can use to reduce the number of visuals in your report to help with performance. All right, let's dig in. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, so story time. This came up from a customer issue I was working on where they were having some performance problems. The overall report was taking five to seven seconds to load. And this trick is potentially a way to reduce that amount of time. So enough of all this talking, let's head over to my machine and show you what I'm actually talking about. All right, so I've got a report here. I've kind of mimicked similar fashion of what he was trying to do, uh, but the extreme piece of this is if we go to, if we look at our cards here, we had, you know, it's kind of a KPI view, right? And we've got different visuals here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six visuals. I can also verify that by going to the selection pane. And I can see I've actually got seven because I got a text box down here, but the main visuals, I've just got six. So I've got six for current year, six for previous year. In this report, it comes up pretty fast. He had it combined with other visuals. So overall, I want to say it was probably... 20 to 30 visuals on the report page. And so you can even see like when we go to like an extreme view of this, you know, I've got a ton of visuals here, right? And so this can add up over time. Specifically what we were looking at here is if we go to a performance analyzer view, start recording and refresh the visuals, we'll see here this other category. And you can see here at this point, my other is a very small, that's because my visual cache is kicking in. But in general, this builds up and the real way to reduce that is to reduce the number of visuals that are in your report. That's a big way to reduce it. And so what we looked at was, okay, well, how do we reduce the visuals? And I remember a trick, two guys that I work with, Chris Hamill and Miguel Myers, they clued me in on this trick a while back. And when I saw this, I'm like, oh man, this is a great, example of where we can apply this approach to try and get it to perform faster, but still maintain the look of what they're trying to accomplish. So let's walk through how to do this. So I'm going to go, let's go back and I'm just going to take the cards visual. Let's just duplicate that page. We can see here the visuals or the, the items that we're going off of here. So we've got total freight year to date, we've got total quantity year to date, and we've got total sales year to date. So let me move these off. We'll move those up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a matrix visual. Now hang in with me. This, some of this is a little bit easy, and then you've got to really tinker around with this to get it the way you want to look. So let's go through and do that. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my measures to the visual. So we're going to add those to the values field. And we'll do total quantity and then total freight, right? Really cool. Totally looks like the way I wanna do it. And we're done, right? Yeah, let's keep going. All right, first thing we're gonna do, go to the paintbrush. We are going to style and we're gonna change that to none because we don't, we wanna manually control what the look of this is. Next thing we're gonna do is come down to column headers. We're gonna come to column headers. We're gonna turn off the auto sizing of column widths. Again, we wanna control that. I'm going to bump up, I'm going to lower the font of the title headers as low as I can go. And then we are, I think we're done in that area. It's good. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font color here to be match the background. So in this case, it's going to be the background. We're going to be right up against this gray bar here. So I'm going to change the color to that. So we'll do, uh, sure that was it. Okay. We're getting there. So now let's go back to the paintbrush here. We're going to go to row headers and we are going to change the outline to none. Forgot that. Go back to column headers. We're going to change the outline there to none as well, right? So we get rid of the lines. So now we've got our text and we've got our, uh, the headers there. All right. So now we're going to go through and do some changes for each individual field itself. So let's come under field formatting. So for total sales year to date, we're going to change that to match the above. So that's going to be millions. And we're going to do centered on that and go to the next. We're going to go to quantity. We're going to change that to thousands. And then we're going to make sure that that is centered as well. And then we're going to go to freight, make that thousands and make sure that that is centered as well. 
All right, so far so good. Next, go to values, and I'm gonna make the font the same size. So I was using 15 point as in the card visuals. So that's the same. And then we go to place, right? And so some of this is gonna be an eyeball thing. Bring this up. One thing you're gonna notice right away is our headers here, right? So they're still kind of matching and they take up a lot of space. So even if I was able to get it positioned correctly here, like if I put it and it matched over, look at that, it's gonna overlap, it's gonna be ugly, right? So one thing we can do here is we can go back to the fields here and this, again, this is tink totally tinkering, right? And you need to decide what it is you're comfortable with in terms of adjusting uh, items from a visual perspective. Again, we're going for a certain look and feel and we're trying to improve performance from an overall visual perspective, right? So we've got some goals. So here's how we can use the Power BI tool to accomplish this. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna change this to a period. I'm gonna change quantity to a comma. And I'm gonna change freight to uh, underscore. Bam. All right, and now they're like kind of not there, which is great. All right, so let's move this back. Okay, so now some more tinkering here. We're gonna do, we're gonna move the columns so that they align to the center. So this one is centered, and then we're gonna move this one to try and get them centered as well. And this is where the tinkering comes in. You just gotta play with it until it looks about right. And then we could maybe move this up just a little bit. There we go. And so now we've got our items here. Ignore these up here. We'll get rid of those. Right. And if we go back to our cards view, we come back here, they look pretty dang close. Look at that. And so now instead of having three visuals, I have only one visual, right? So that's going to reduce the number of bottlenecks that we have going in. From a report perspective, typically it renders visuals in batches of four. And so if I've reduced three to one, that's pretty huge. Now, let's take it a step further. All right, so we showed that we had these two columns. So how do I do this? What, what am I gonna do here? So let's duplicate this page, all right? And from here, we're gonna kind of do the same thing. Let me actually go grab this, copy that, all right? That's in place. And so now these are going to be the previous year's items. I'm just gonna move those up quickness here. Let's actually copy this visual. And for completeness here, let's go ahead and add, we'll add total sales, we'll add total quantity, same period last year, and we'll add total freight, same period last year. Get rid of these guys. All right. And now we've got to do some of that same formatting again. All right. So so column headers, we're going to go to white, go back and adjust our field formatting. So we'll come through here. So sales is going to be millions. Make sure it's centered. And then quantity is going to be, we got thousands. Make sure it's centered. And then total freight is going to be millions as well. And then we're going to make sure that that's centered. And then the trick we showed before, we'll do the same thing. So we'll change that to period, change this to comma. We'll change the freight to underscore, All right? So now we're not taking up as much more. If you really look, you'll see it, but honestly, the occasional look on it, most people are going to miss it. And then comes the tinkering. And we'll get rid of those and bam. Now, if we go to we look between, All right? Looks pretty similar. Looks pretty good. Let's take this up a notch though, because one other cool thing I can do here is maybe I want to add a KPI indicator in here as well, like an icon. So let's add that. All right. So what I'm going to do is for total sales, I'm going to add a circle and I've already created a measure to indicate, to use for the KPI conditional formatting. So let's go ahead and add that in. So let's go first to the current year. We're going to add in sales. The middle here. I'm gonna do this as just two periods. 
And then we're going to go and do conditional formatting as icons. Okay, change this to just the icon. We'll do change it to circles. And then we'll change these values up. All right. So these are all of those items. Hit OK. So what I'm going to do here now is also alter the actual values fields or the field formatting. So what I'm going to do is for this first one, I'm going to make it right aligned. And then I'm going to make the icon left aligned. So that we can get them right next to each other. All right. And then we'll move stuff over. And then we'll do the same thing for the previous year. Bam. And so now if we go look at the original, and then we come in and now we've got our KPI indicators. That's bananas. We can make this. So now instead of six visuals, I've got two visuals that are going to go through. So this is really going to help bring down the performance. And let me take this to an extreme. I already took the cards to an extreme and maybe we've got a total number of items here. This is a lot of cards that are on there. This is not out of the realm of possibility. And so what could we do from a visual perspective? You know, maybe, maybe we've got the same thing here. We come and look at our cards with all these items. Let's go to the view. Let's go to the selection pane so we can actually see, you know, we've got a ton of items here. Let's see. So we've got 24 visuals here, not including my little text guy down here, but 24 visuals that are each going to run. And if we go back and look at our thing here, we've only got eight visuals. So we brought it down by a factor of three. And that's huge when we think of that things batch in terms of four. So just to shoot, just to show the last bit of performance here, let's go and save that. I'm going to open this back up. So no visual caching, no data caching. So we'll go to view, we'll run performance analyzer. We will start recording and then we will go to our many cards tab. This has the 24 visuals on it and it ran. It was pretty quick because this model is really small, but you can see also here that when I expand these out, we can see that each visual has its own calculation. It's got to go run. And so they're taking 26 milliseconds, 27 milliseconds, that adds up. If your DAX queries are even slower, that's going to add up as well. And then that other bucket is going to be larger because you've got more visuals that are taking time and are bottleneck. Let's try that again, but let's do the matrix. All right, we're going to start up performance analyzer, start recording. Bam. Again, pretty quick, but if we look at the matrix themselves, you know, yeah, they took a little bit longer on the DAX because we're doing more with it. But overall, we've got less number of visuals. And this is a technique you can use to reduce or improve performance from your report perspective. So if you're in that situation where maybe you've got a bunch of cards and you're noticing some slowness, this is an approach you can take to try and bring down the performance or improve that performance of that report by reducing the number of visuals and really using a matrix visual to do something pretty creative from a card display perspective and getting that look that you want. The other thing that really sells it here is the background is already created that gives that illusion of the table and the joining or the borders of the cards. And so that can help you as well. All right, what do you guys think? Is this bananas? Is this crazy? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Again, this is, you know, we're hacking around. We're using Power BI Desktop in a way to get the visual look that we want. All right, I wanna hand this off to you. What do you guys think? Is this bananas? This is just a cool way to, to maybe, you know, hack or, you know, tinker and get that look that you want with maintaining performance and whatnot. I, I'd love your thoughts. Leave them down in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.